Hello children. Today we will do the lesson The Adventure of the Three Students. Now before starting of the lesson, let's know about the author. Author is Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Uh, now he was born on 22nd May 1859 and he studied to become a doctor and he graduated. But he had a secret passion for detective stories. So in 1890 he began to write the Sherlock Holmes novels hope all of you must have heard about and then his uh, books became famous but in 1906 when his wife died he went mad and he died in 1930 okay uh, now let's know about uh, just a short biography uh, now Sherlock Holmes is a fictional detective created by uh, author and physician Sir Arthur Conan Doyle uh, a London-based consulting detective whose abilities border on the fantastic. Now, Holmes is famous for his uh, logical reasoning, his ability to adopt almost any disguise and his use of forensic science skills to solve difficult cases. Okay, now Holmes, who first appeared in publication in 1887, was featured in four novels and fifth six short stories now the first novel a study in scarlet appeared in christmas annual in 1887 and the second the sign of the four again in monthly magazine in 1890 okay so the character grew tremendously in popularity with the series of short stories uh, in the strand magazine beginning with a scandal in bohemia in 1891 and the further series of short stories and two novels published in serial form appeared be between then and uh, 1927 the stories cover a period from around 1880 up to 1940 okay so now let's talk about the adventure of three students now one of the 56 uh, Sherlock Holmes uh, short stories written by uh, Doyle now uh, is one of 13 stories in the cycle collected as the return of Sherlock Holmes in 1905. Now it was first published in the Strand magazine in the United Kingdom in June 1904 and was published in the Coilers in the United States on 24th September 1904. Okay. Uh, now let's know a little more about Sherlock Holmes. Now Sherlock Holmes is a famous character of detective stories as we discussed earlier and he was created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and he was the protagonist of lot of novels. Okay, just for instance you can see these are the few famous books. If you can see the adventure of the yellow face the adventure of the three students okay there are many okay now let's come back to the story the firstly let's start with the characters now uh, before starting up or meeting three students let's meet the supporting characters now out of which is Hilton Soames a tall spare man of a nervous and excitable uh, temperament Soames is a professor of Greek and is slated to give an examination for a scholarship the morning after we first meet him now, Soames is a trusting soul, completely certain for his servant, Bannister's trustworthiness. He wants to handle the matter of the cheating quietly and discreetly. It's through Soames' eyes that we are introduced to the three students at the center of the cheating incident. So, by the morning of the exam, before Holmes has uh, given his final analysis, Soames is described as being in a state of pitiable agitation and uh, uh, unable to stand still from his mental agitation. So, by the time the culprit is uncovered, Soames is both relieved and shocked by what has transpired. Okay. So now next is Bannister. The Bannister is a servant who has looked after Soames' room for the past 10 years. He is a little white-faced, clean-shaven, grizzly-haired fellow of 50. His honesty is, according to Soames, absolutely above suspicion. Now, upon news of the cheating incident, Bannister is both sincere in his denial of any wrongdoing and so upset that he nearly 
fainted okay so though initially impressed by banister as being a thoroughly honest man holmes continues questioning the man including on the morning holmes reaches his conclusion okay so we find out that banister uh, is a little unsettled by all the questioning his face is described as ghastly and he turns white to the roots of his hair now overcome by guilt on nerves uh, of being questioned nervous of you know, so banister finally breaks and admits to his part in the scandal okay as it turns out he had been the servant of the guilty student's family and despite his mi mi misdeeds was acting out of loyalty to his former employer okay so now let's meet the students the three first is gilchrist now he's uh, known only as gilchrist throughout the story though we get a pretty good picture of his physical appearance and personality is a hard working and industrious according to his teacher and a tall flaxen haired slim young man he is a good student as well as talented athlete a fine uh, manly fellow and the son of uh, uh, jabez Gil uh, gilchrist his um, athleticism is ultimately responsible for dropping a few clues that point to his guilt okay so it was at ease and charming and when first introduced to holmes but appearances are deceiving and gilchrist turns out to be the cheating culprit and seems to be remorseful when find, found out so he admits his misdeeds and he in, has his intent to leave school and join the police force in south africa next is mr ras uh, now he is a quite unscratchable fellow an indian student well up in his work though he struggled with the subject of greek he is described as steady and methodical so upon visiting his room homes determines him to be a silent little hook-nosed fellow who has pleasant who was pleasant enough but glad you know, when the visit was over and prior to the visit ras uh, had been observed from a distance pacing back and forth in his room restlessly okay and next is mr mac so let's know about him now from early of the story he might seem to be the likely culprit described as a brilliant fellow when he chooses to work and uh, he is one of the smartest at the university however he is undisciplined and wavered and nearly expelled over a prior uh, scandal in a previous year so soms tells that uh, tell detective that mac uh, uh, has been idling all the term and must be worried about the next day's exam now upon trying to visit his room um, uh, homes and soms are uh, forbidden to enter now greeted with a uh, torrent of bad language and behavior soms can only describe as rude now soms finds him to be uncourteous and suspicious and it's clear the teacher thinks the student is the guilty one okay now let's discuss the theme and the plot uh, so in essence the adventure of three students deals simply with a case of cheating in exams a crime which is hardly on par uh, with murder blackmail or theft of crown jewels but it was a problem given over to sherlock holmes because of the possibility of scandal so this possibility of scandal allows for dr watson to be vague in certain areas of the story uh, now let's summarize the story so the story takes place in 1895 sherlock holmes wants to be uh do some research into early english law homes and his friends dr watson temporarily move to an unnamed uh, uh, university town so that he can carry out his research one evening homes and watson are visited in their uh, lodgings uh, by hilton soames a lecturer in greek from uh, the university's college of st luke's the soames is in great deal of distress so he explains to homes that a crime has been committed at his college so in order to prevent a scandal however soames would like homes to find the culprit without involving the police okay in order to avoid the scandal so an examination is due to take place the following day to select which student will receive the 
scholarship and this scholarship is a very large amount of money so candidates for the scholarship have to translate uh, from uh, greek a lengthy passage which they have not seen before so anybody who saw the text beforehand would have a considerable advantage in the exam so for that reason it its contents are kept se uh, strictly secret okay now soms is responsible for making the greek translation test now before copies of the test are printed the printer needs to send proofs to som so that he can check them for any mistakes so the three page proofs in the form of a roll of paper arrived at som study at 3 o'clock that afternoon so one student who is due to take the exam uh, an indian named uh, dolatras uh, came to sons study after the proofs arrived it is unlikely however that the uh, recognized he recognized the role of papers as a text of unseen translation exam okay so now let's see next what happened uh so after having unrolled and read the proofs soms went out at 4:30 pm so he returned an hour later to find a key in the door of his study he discovered that the key was not his but that of his servant banister so on entering his study soms saw that someone had been there in his absence and looked at the proofs the third page was still on his desk but the first one was on the floor and the second was uh, was by the window so on the table by the window soms found uh, shavings from a sharpened pencil and a broken pencil tip a 3 inch long cut was on the red leather top of soms new writing desk a small piece of clay with sawdust in uh, in it was also on the writing desk so banister not only denied that he had anything to do with the intrusion he also appeared to be very upset by it so while still standing at the study's door banister appeared to take ill take it okay now uh, soms made uh, him sit in a chair and gave him some brandy the soms left banister in the chair and his study when he went to see homes okay now let's move further now homes at watson go to the college of st louis soms lives and works on the ground floor of a medieval building now three students live above him in the same building now a ground floor window looks uh, into soms studies homes examines the window and stands on tiptoe to look through it soms thinks that homes is wasting time because the intruder obviously did not climb through the window but came in through the door so on entering soms study home sees that banister has left so the detective asks soms which chair banister was sitting in the soms answers uh, that he was sitting in the chair nearest to the window now sherlock holmes realizes that the intruder took the papers one by one to the table near the window from there he would be able to see soms coming back to the building's main entrance so it would have taken the intruder about 15 minutes to copy the first paper after copying it he threw it on the floor while he was copying the second paper soms came back the intruder did not see soms coming through the window because he entered the building through its side entrance so he had to leave hurriedly having no time to remove the signs of his intrusion okay now let's move further homes examines the shavings from the sharpened pencil and the broken pencil tip he sees that they come from a soft lead pencil uh, 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 from lettering uh, on the uh, shavings uh, he sees that the pencil is of a very popular brand brand okay and uh, but it is of unusually large size he says that the pencil will now be only about an inch and a half long and uh, uh, that it was sharpened with a very blunt knife now homes examines that the cut on the writing desk and the piece of black clay and sawdust now homes had to uh, had not been in his uh, adjoining bedroom since he found out uh, out there had been an intruder in his study so homes uh, examines that room also 
okay he finds that nobody is hiding in the bedroom but notices another piece of black clay and saw dust on the floor it is clear that the intruder escaped into the bedroom when soames returned now holmes thinks it is unlikely that the intruder escaped through the bedroom window meaning that he was still there while soames was looking around his study and talking to bannister now let's move further believing that the intruder was almost likely one of the three students who live in the same building as soames holmes asked soames about them now students like gilchrist dolores and uh, mac all three students are candidates for the scholarship and are due to take the exam the next day so gilchrist is a good student and athlete he plays on the university's rugby and cricket teams and is very good at long jump and hurdles he is the son of sir jabez gilchrist uh, who lost a lot of money through gambling and left his family poor so the indian student dolores is quite and hard working he is generally a good student although he is not very good at greek now miles macklin uh, is a good student when he chooses to be he is badly behaved however and was almost expelled from the university once he was not uh, he has not been studying hard recently and is unlikely to, to do well in the exam so banister is called in for questioning he tells homes that it was not the first time that he absent mindedly left the key in soames room uh, soames store he explains uh, that he came to bring soames tea and left the room uh, when he saw that the lecturer was not there he left the key behind because he had a tea tray in his hands now homes asked banister why although he began to feel ill well, while he was standing at the door he chose to sit in the chair by the window instead of a nearer one now banister cannot give a satisfactory answer banister says that he only stayed in the study for a very short while after soames left now when he asked who he suspects of being the intruder banister replies that he suspects nobody okay so now having briefly stepped outside homes and watson can see the uh, by the lights in their rooms that all three students are in now uh, mr ras can be seen pacing around his room pretending to be a visitor to the college who is interested in medieval architecture now homes goes to the room of each of the student accompanied by watson and soames gilchrist whom watson describes as a tall flaxen haired slim young fellow is very welcoming to the visitors Now Holmes pretends to be very interested in something in Gilchrist's rooms, room and starts to sketch it. He breaks his pencil and asks the student to lend him another one. He then asks to borrow a knife to sharpen his own pencil. Now Holmes goes through the same routine at the day uh, at the room of Dolores. Now Indian student is less welcoming to the visitors and is clearly glad when they leave. So neither student pro produces a pencil or knife which match the ones the intruder used. Okay. Now Miles Macklin uh, refuses to open his door to the visitors and shouts and swears at them until they leave. Now Holmes asks Holmes how tall Macklin is. Now Holmes replies that he is taller than Dolores but shorter than Gilchrist. Now Holmes tells Holmes that the exam uh, should. uh be ahead the next day as planned he adds that he will return to see soam uh, early the following morning he takes the pencil shavings broken pencil tip and pieces of black clay and sawdust with him now as they leave the college homes and watson can still see uh, mr ras pacing around his room now homes says that this is not very unusual behavior and that people often do it while trying to learn something off by heart Now Holmes also says that Macklin's reaction was quite normal for someone who was taking an important exam the following day. Now Holmes, however, cannot work out what Bannister's involvement in the case is. So he was doubting the Bannister. Now on the way back to the uh, lodgings, Holmes and Watson visit the, the town's four major stationery stores. None of the stores keep pencils which match the ones that the intruder used in stock. Now Watson is awoken by Holmes at eight o'clock the next morning. Now Holmes announces that he has been up since six o'clock and has solved the mystery. 
he shows Watson that he has found three made more pieces of black clay and saw dust like the ones found in Soames study and bedroom at the College of St. Louis. Now Holmes tells Soames that the exam will go ahead as planned and would that the intruder will not take it. Now Holmes, Watson and Soames seat themselves so that they resemble the panel of judges. Now Bannister is called in. He appears to be very frightened but insists that he has nothing more to say about the intrusion. Now, he, is also, he is asked to stay in the room and Gilchrist is called in. Now, Gilchrist looks at Bannister. Bannister tries to reassure him by saying, I never said a word, thus revealing Gilchrist's guilt. Okay, now, Holmes reveals that he did not inspect the window of Soames' study because he thought that the intruder climbed through it. He was thinking instead of who might have been tall enough to look through it. He also remembered that Soames said Gilchrist was good at the long jump. The college's long jump pit is filled with black clay and sawdust. Okay, so on the previous day, Gilchrist wearing spiked athletic shoes had been doing the long jump. When he returned to his college in the afternoon carrying his spiked shoes in his hand, he looked through the window into Soames' office. He saw some papers on the desk which he thought might have been the proofs of the Greek translation test. He saw the key in the door and entered the room. He put his spiked shoes on the desk and he, his gloves on the chair near the window. When he heard Soames coming, Gilchrist hurriedly picked up his shoes, cutting the red leather on the desk with the spikes as he did so and went to hide in Soames' bedroom. He left his gloves behind. Now, before becoming Soames' servant, Bannister had been a butler to Gilchrist's father and he continued to feel very protective towards young Gilchrist. He immediately recognized Gilchrist's gloves and he sat on the chair near the window to hide the gloves and stayed in the chair until Soames left. So after Soames left, Gilchrist came out of hiding. Bannister went to see Gilchrist later and persuaded him not to cheat in the exam. Now Gilchrist reveals that he has already written a letter to Soames in which he confesses what he did. Okay, he is leaving the university and going to join the police and Holmes wishes Gilchrist well in his life in Africa. Okay, this was all about the story children. Now let's, there are a few questions which you can check your understanding, how much you have understood your lesson. But for understanding, apart from this video, you have to go through your lesson also, read it carefully so that you can answer all the questions given over here. So these are the few questions children and options are there. These all are MCQs. You need to answer them so that you can check your understanding. And that was all children. So hope all of you will be able to understand the lesson. Do read it again. Go through the video again and have a great day ahead, children. Thank you.